Well, I haven't fished for catfish for many, many years, but I've accepted an invitation today from my good mate, Duncan Sharman, to come down to the stunning Manor Fisheries in Kent. She's got a fantastic head of big catfish. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've been meaning to fish for catfish for the last few years. I just haven't got round to it. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's uh, not going to be a how-to video, really just a day's fishing. So if you enjoy these films, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below because there'll be some more coming along soon. So let's see how we get on. Well, how about that? Oh, completely out of breath. Only been fishing for about an hour and had a fast run, struck into an epic battle, trying to get me into the marginal snags, but eventually landed this cracker, just over 40 pounds. Oh, really breathless. So I'm going to put her back because she'll be pretty breathless too. And then we'll talk a bit about the tactics. Well, if you'd have said to me this morning that uh, within an hour of fishing a new venue, I'd be putting back a 40 pounder after a tremendous grapple. Um, I really wouldn't have believed it, but there you go. I've got my breath back now. So I thought I'd uh, just talk about the real simple rigs and tactics that I'm gonna be using today. It's a small, well-stocked fishery. So I don't think you need anything complicated. And to be honest, it's been that long since I've cat fished for catfish that, um, really don't want to overcomplicate things, I just want to keep it simple today. So, very very simple rigs. I'm using 45 pound Quicksilver, uh, which is a, a really abrasion resistant braid for my hook length. And what's that, about two foot, two and a half foot long. To size four gaper hook, nice wide gape on it, ideal for sort of catching in the corner in the jaws of a, a big catfish. And very simple baits, on, on one rod I'm going to be fishing garlic sausage, big, quite a big chunk of it, not massive considering the size of a, a big catfish's mouth but uh, we've brought plenty of that, that along courtesy of Duncan and I'm going to just be using that as hook baits and then putting some smaller chopped up bits in as well. And simple running rigs, nothing complicated at all, um, just ledger in unless I see fish showing in close and then I could stalk them, I've brought some floats as well and you know there's a chance that I could could even catch one on the float. And so very, very simple tactics. Loose feed wise, there's, there's lots of carp in here, um, lots of silver fish. So what I'm gonna try and do is attract some of those in um, and also some of the, the cats hopefully as well by putting sort of a, a little bit of a bed. It's red hot, it's not great conditions. So I'm not gonna go mad with the bait. So what I'm gonna put out is I've got some, some dead maggots, some frozen dead maggots. I'll put some of them out really to try and attract the silver fish in. And then I've got a bit of a secret weapon today with me. I've brought some uh, frozen krill. Now I use this for a lot of different species, really, really rate it. And uh, never tried it for catfish before, but it, it works for everything else. And it generally draws in all sorts of fish. So I'm just gonna put a couple of handfuls of that out as well on an area just in the margins really, and see if I can pull, pull some fish in on that. So that's it, pretty simple tactics. I know uh, that uh, Duncan's using Slightly different tactics to me today, so let's go around and see him and see what he's up to. I've just had a massive liner off a carp. I thought my chance had come, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. I'm going to rebait, get another PVA bag on out by the willow and uh, quickly show you the rig. Well, today I've decided to go with a bunch of lobworms popped up because it's so hot. I think those cats are gonna be laid up in the shadow and I need some movements and vibrations just in the hope of tempting one. The rig I'm using is fairly simple. It's a hinged rig and I put some putty on a swivel there. So these actual worms will pop up off the bottom about 10 inches. I've just actually tested that in the margin the actual everything floats, but once that putty just sinks, it's down. I've got six big lobworms on here, and they're trapped behind between little red pulley balls. 
And on the end of the poly ball, I've just got a, another buoyant caster. That goes on, squashes down, and pretty much a little hair stop will keep that all on. And there you have it, one's fallen off because I'm a big hook, size four, barbless hook, but that's all gonna pop up like that. And what cat could actually resist that? Hopefully, <laughs> at the moment, quite a few, but then look at the, look at the weather, we're only expecting one or two, two you know, chances today. Um, I've got a bit of tube in there, just a bit of tungsten tubing, just to pin everything down. When the cats are about, you get lots and lots of liners. You have to use running rigs here. So I've got a big run rig there and a two ounce lead. So hopefully that will create a lot of movement, a bit of vibration in the actual water and a catfish will come along, home in and now that. As I said, I thought I had a chance a minute ago, but it wasn't to be. It was a carp just swimming through my lines, but I'm sure this won't go unnoticed today. Well, what do you want to know about Manor Fisheries? It's less than an hour from London, not far off the M25, M20, close to Maidstone, but you'd never know that. We're out in the middle of the countryside. There's birds, nature all around us. It's run by a couple that are really friendly and helpful. The accommodation is first class. The facilities, everything you need, and the fishery and fishing is superb. Free, free lakes, of course, carp and Cat Lake. Every time I come, the sun shines. So I always catch the sun, normally catch a few catfish. At the moment, it's being tough, but we are in the middle of the day. So normally they come onto the feed later in the day. Well, it's always nice to catch a fish early on. And to be honest, since then, it's gone really quiet. I've seen one more fish, a big catfish, right in the margins, sheet up, throw up a load of bubbles and, and dirty water as it's kind of rolled on the bottom. But since then, the sun's come out, it's got really bright, and I think myself and the catfish have been skulking away in the shadows, waiting for the evening to come round. And if, if we planned it better, maybe we should have fished the night, but um, we've only got a day session here, and uh, so we've still got the evening. We'll be off about 7 o'clock tonight, and uh, still time for a bite. Now, some days you can catch a lot of cats, but a lot of the time with cats, you're going to be having short feeding spells, and maybe just one or two bites. So every fish you hook, you want to be landing it. And that means gearing up accordingly. And fish of the size where, you know, on a fishery like this, where you, you know, there's every chance you could be hooking a 40 pounder, you need gear that's going to be able to get fish out of that size and is going to be reliable. And I'm basically using almost identical gear to what I use for my pike fishing in the winter. So I'm on 10 foot, three and a half pound Nash scope rods. Very, very good. Nice for giving action so I can play fish hard without having to worry about pulling the hooks. And I'm using a 10,000 size bait runner. You really want to reel with a very good clutch because I've got this tightened up almost as, as far as it will go. So I can really dictate straight away as soon as I hook into a fish, I can try and get it under control and land it quickly and not let it get into snags and get me into trouble. And obviously if you're going to fish like that and, and be you know, have a chance of a big fish, you need strong line as well. So I'm on 21 pound line, uh, nylon. Um, the rules on this fishery are a minimum 20 pound. Well, that doesn't worry me at all because I'll always be fishing that really as a minimum. And if the fish were bigger, I'd gear up and gun up a bit heavier still. But I, this is ideal kind of tackle for these sort of size fish. And that's it really. If you do a lot of pike fishing, you've probably Got, got gear that's uh, suitable anyway. You may have to uh, invest in some heavier nylon, but that's probably about it. And that's it, that's it really. I'm gonna put the rods back out in a little while and fingers crossed we might have another chance uh, before we go home tonight. Well, that's our time up today. We're actually being buzzed by biplanes at the moment, would you believe, from the local airfield. So that must be a sign to go home. It's been a great day. This afternoon has been really tough. It's been bright. As promised, it's clouded over a little bit now, but we've just run out of time. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you like it, please give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Or drop us a comment below on the other films that you might want us to make. And we'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Bye. <laughs>